This is the morning office for March 22nd. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 18, verses 1 to 7. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my stronghold, my crag and my haven, my God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. O Lord, you have enticed me, and I was enticed. You have over overpowered me, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughingstock all day long. Everyone mocks me, for whenever I speak I must cry out, I must shout, violence and destruction. For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say, I will not mention him or speak any more of his name, then within me there is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. For I hear many whispering, terror is all around, denounce him, let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed, and we can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me like a dread warrior. Therefore my persecutors will stumble, and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, you test the righteous. You see the heart and the mind. Let me see your retribution upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hands of evildoers. The word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us, that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. One of my sources says that the silence of listening is a mark of moral generosity. Note this is more than just hearing. This is actually active connection. It's not just being polite and not interrupting other people when they're speaking but it's really hearing what they say and not using that simply as a springboard to whatever we might say next. More to our point in thinking about silence, it's about letting someone into our inner own inner silence. It's a kind of imitation of Christ, letting people in to the place where we are most in touch with God, the place where we are most able to find sanctuary offering that to someone else, taking in their words, 
taking in the emotions that go with their words, is an act of grace and is perhaps part of what we are given silence for, that we may share it and make it into uh, a graceful thing to offer to others when they need to be heard. I ask your prayers for the day, for the world, and for the church. Pray for all the needs of those who are far from you, those whom you don't see, those whom you love, but who live far away or who are traveling, those who go in any danger in the military or as first responders, all those for whom our prayers are offered continually. Pray that today they will have some grace from you, some grace from God, and will know of your concern and your prayers for them. Pray also for the world in much the same way that those who are far from us will know of our prayers, will know of our Christian love for them. And that the church, which struggles quietly, silently, humbly around the world, will know that all other Christians are praying for those doing the work of the kingdom of God wherever they may be found. O oh Lord, you re relieve our necessity out of the abundance of your great riches. Grant that we may accept with joy the salvation you bestow and manifest it to all the world by the quality of our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.